Hey kiddos, next two here, and welcome to Until Big Light, the final game in the demo disc series. It has been a very long, fun little run we've had, but we finally reached the final game. It's the middle of no light, and you've just been rudely awakened by our landlord, demanding the extortant amount of rent. You do not have the cheddar to cover it. So you've gone into the nearby neighborhood in search of odd jobs to scrounge up crumbs. Cheddar and crumbs? What kind of game is this? Oh, is this where I come from? That's the way back into the burrow. With how angry my landlord is, I don't think I want to confront them again without rent. Uh, am I, am I a rat? Is that what I'm getting at here? Because cheddar and den. Oh, there's a man. Why is everything, like, angled weird? Oh, he's a rat man. Hey there. The hefty mouse behind the bar looks up, looks you up and down, their paw rapidly spinning a bolt of cloth inside the thimble. Hmm, hi there. Haven't seen you around, these, around here before. Surely you didn't just wander in from the trail. What if I did? I'd be fairly impressed. Not many a mouse is able to avoid these roving packs of feral beasts. Best to keep... Cordoned off zone. Best to keep cordoned off zones where we know the fat cats are able to ensure our safety. Gods know. I've been told as much, and I don't go around questioning an entity as all knowing as fat cats. Look, is there something you need? Ah, just what I like to hear. A mouse motivated to. <laughs> I just knocked over something. I mean, assuming you are looking to work for those crumbs. Just give me them. Ha, funny stuff, kid. You know how this world works, right? You want cheddar, you make yourself useful. I don't know if anybody knows that. That's why they have the crumbs. And you don't. Gotta put yourself up by the whiskers and make yourself necessary for someone else. Someone else with cheddar. Now, you want to make yourself useful or keep being a beggar? Well, you have a bit of a roach problem in the cellar. They're quite huge. would probably take a skilled swords mouse to fell... Um, so that rules you out but I got something more your speed a letter that needs to be delivered are you familiar with the nine lives sure good just head on down the path and give it to the cashier cool they'll be the ones to pay you don't listen to any of their pleas they come up with they're just rampant liars Nothing. Deliver the letter and don't open it. Trust me, just hand it over and you'll get something nice in return. Let me know when it's taken care of. Stay safe out there. Is there like an inventory button or something? Nope. What are you up to? Barfly? Hey there. You're that new mouse round, right? The one that does whiskers deliveries? I've seen you out there, out there now and then, doing deliveries just like me. Is that your side gig? Oh, my friend, there's no shame in it. He, I'm a cog, just like you. I know you're paying all too well. We're comrades out there. The everlasting chase for Cheddar. It's so fruitless. What's up? No shit, me too. Let's be friends. We're already co-workers. I hate that, though. Whiskers terrible. Just another dumb fat cat initiative, initiative cooked up to follow humane... Humming trends? Not enough, apparently. Now you have much. Now you have much of a choice, anyway. Not like you have much of a choice, anyway. Hardly any jobs out here make uh, much less tiring. Damned if you do. Damn more if you don't. It's nice not having to work at one of those stupid shops like Nine Lives, but I don't know how good that really is. All I do day in day day in day out, sprint up and down the trail, heading, handing. Richer mice food than uh, I can't read today. This is bad. This is they always get me in my bad days. Handing richer mice food they can afford for scraps or crumbs off the top. I don't have to stop unless I want to, which is really good. But also, it's not like I have to go out there. No one is making me. Hi, Hick. Oh, Hick. It's not hi to Hick. He's drinking. And no one cares about me out there. It's lonely. I miss camaraderie. I had a tumble the other while the blah, the other week while I was running a delivery. It fell down the hillside steep, really messed me up. Bounced off some rocks on the way down. Had a hard time walking, 
and the doc I saw told me it was gonna cost a good hunk of cheddar to fix me up. I didn't really have much stowed away, because I'm barely making crumbs anyways, you know? You can't save on that penance. Plus, after paying up for the check, I can barely afford to eat. And now, I couldn't get going to make more money, because my job relies on me being able to run all over the place. Real shit sandwich, let me tell you. I tried to reach out to Whisker and tell him, you know, I was working for you guys while this happened. You know, I pulled myself back up in the trail and hobbled all the way to the end of my delivery still. Maybe they front, they'd front some costs, make feel like they valued my work, appreciated my due diligence to fishing out in order after that. They told me I was the one responsible for me. So now, here I am. I got some crumbs for drinks, I slowly limp up and down the trail for a few more crumbs for some drinks, and I survive. I don't feel like talking much anymore. Wow. That was a whole life story there. Can we just deliver this letter, I guess? What is that? What is this? Is this a house? A note stuck to the door reads, The shoebox apartments, opening soon. Located on the, in the scenic outskirts, the shoebox offers luxurious living for an affordable price. Only 5,600 cheddar a cycle. You too can enjoy a six roomy square inch in the hottest new craze, microburrows. Contact us during Big Light to fill out an application. Please note that applications cost half a cycle's rent. Applications do not guarantee placement within the complex. Fee is non-refundable. Wow, that's ass. So you have to pay half of the price it pays to live in here to possibly live in here. And if you don't end up living in here, it's not their fault and you don't have your money back. That's pretty cheap. There's nine paws. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. What's up, buddy? They lean lazily on the counters, obviously young, obviously extremely bored. They don't seem to notice your approach. You wave your paw a little at them, and they come too. Oh, uh, hi. Are you buying something? They shift nervously, everything from their, averting their gaze from yours. Uh, what? Do you mean you hand them a mysterious letter? Look, I don't have anywhere near enough crumbs. Well, if you want to keep your word to them, you're going to have to help. Otherwise, you're in trouble too. I'd say it's definitely your problem. They don't take kindly to people who can't accomplish what they need. I can't afford that tab, but I have a friend that I think can help. Alright, so you're going to head out of here. Take a left. You should see a real small path through the grass. That'll take you off... They'll take you to a cliff. Knowing them, there should be a mouse sta an old mouse staring at nothing out there. They know everything there is to know about this place. They'll know what to do about the barkeep. And I know you've got a lot of questions about all this, so I'm sure they can clue you in on what a mess this place is. Here, this is a no explaining everything. Just hand that over. I'll close up early and meet you over there when I'm done. We'll talk more about it when you do. This is exciting. It is. Today I just might be the red letter day we've been waiting for if you decide to help my friend anyways i got to start getting stuff put away here go get uh, go get caught up good luck no fam i'm trying to go to the toilets okay i can't let me out uh this is a cool game like it seems pretty interesting so far i don't know anything about it but it looks okay Ooh, what's he looking at well, hello there, Squirt. What can I do for you? Oh, let me have a look. Oh, that poor youngling. Hmm, I suppose you have a lot of questions, don't you? Whoa, that's a cool city in the background. A farce of monumental proportions, Squirt. The felines have swindled us time and time again, but what's happening now is far worse. Is the far by the far is the worst swindle they've ever wrought. Infiltration, undermining, turning us against one another, creating in insurmountable walls between us an external group to turn hateful eye upon stops one from focusing on the real internal issues a dastardly plan to blind us with our own hatred the barkeep was just such a mouse who fell enchanced by the siren of the song the blame a thought movement that placed all of the hardships of mousehood squarely on the shoulders of non-mice excluding the felines of course anger is far easier to harbor than love the cats knew that and exploited it to the fullest. Tell me, when was the last time you saw a rat? There's a reason for that, as there is for all things. One that I'm sure you understand. 
Originally, this oak stood above all the woods here, a guardian high above the tree line. The fat cats would have those they called lesser beings, with cold calculation hanged from its branches. The tree of growth, they called it. We shed the weight of their burden upon us, a society to achieve greater heights, or so they'd have you believe. The barkeep was the grim caretaker of this place, an ancient family home that the of ancient family home they had themselves inherited. Eventually, the oak turned in time into an inn, but they couldn't keep it afloat after the insurance of the cheddar, of cheddar. But with the advent of the den, no soul wished to venture this far, especially not for a fee. Desperate and low on cheddar, they turned the oak over to fat cats when they expressed a keen interest in the location. The rats weren't the only undesirables in the eye of the felines, one group rarely enough to bear the brunt of such ire for long. Quickly, the oak became a harbor for all sorts of enemies of the establishment. Any who earned their ire to begin, to be, uh, ire began to quietly disappear. For a while, the mice brought here would simply be adjusted. No one was ever quite the same when they came back. It wasn't until much later when we realized the bastards were making them infertile. That's why you have to stop them. You're an unknown entity here. I've seen you sulking about, trying not to be noticed. You slip in and out of that burrow like a spirit in the night. Going and notice seems to be a skill you've honed well, and it's something you could benefit from all of mouse kind tonight. Easily enough, you could slip into the oak, scale it, and topple the feline patriarchy that hides up top, silently lo lording us over. Or sort so that I can't, I can't, I literally can't hold their mouse. I can't anymore. I can't. His gave never flat. We're just gonna. His gaze never f Why? His gaze never f flatters from this place here. The cat in the tower controls it all without raising a single paw. But they'd never see it coming. You're so meek, so modest in physical stature. After all, face it, you're the perfect mouse for the job. They've all taken so much from us, it's time we take it back. We can burn away the, b the blight that has plagued this once great society. Ha, huh, Rent, that's a good one. Who do you think owns all the land around here? The landlord? No, they're just a pasty. They shake you down for your cheddar. They go that uh, they go between for whenever things turn ugly. The barkeeper's wind falls from far fat cats was more than enough to snatch up the land's felines had no interest in. Your rent will never be a worry again if we can take this first step towards a new tomorrow. They're too loud, too boisterous, too emotionally charged. They couldn't hold themselves together for together long enough to make it past the security in that oak, not like you. That's a spirit. First things first, we're going to need some leverage to get the keys up to the fortress of the oak. It may not look like much, but it's nigh, it's nigh impregnable. I have an idea. Go back to the tin can bar. The barkeeper always scurries off this time of night, no light, to meet with their superiors. Behind the bar, on the far side from the entrance, you'll find the false bottom in the last drawer. There you'll find the bargaining chip. Bring it to me, and we can set in motion a new dawn for mouse kind. I'll head towards the bar shortly after you. I just need a few more moments first. After all, who knows how many more I'll have like this. Or hope springs eternal in a mouse's chest. Best not to deny an old mouse, long whiskers and brittle bone that much. Remain steadfast, squirt. That was too much for one human to take in at once. I am going to just... What's up, buddy? Well, I didn't expect you to actually accept that. Sorry, I was eavesdropping. I finished closing this store and you two were so loud. At any rate, I think they're sending you after. Well, you'll see. I've glimpsed it before. It's beautiful. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I should probably get the hell out of here before shit hits the fan. I think you're on the verge of kicking the hornet's nest, and I don't want to be around for it, rather than not be collateral damage. So I guess... Hope this isn't goodbye, just a farewell, until I see you again in the big light. Hopefully we'll both stand a little taller, as mice in control of their own fates for the first time in a long time. By the way, I, uh, shaved a little off the top for tonight of tonight's profit when I was counting the till. I know, I know, you're toppling the Meow Lagarchi, but just in case you end up needing to pay your rent somehow, don't die up there. Oh wow, that's a lot of cheddar. 
Well, thank you for the currency I'm never going to use. And I will thank me by going back here. Hey, bro. Oh, hey, yous. Long time no she. Have you... Did you see a barkeeper? They just left. Oh. oh okay. Did you think they might have... They mind me shagging myself on the... J Another, uh, Drink from behind the bar? Just bring them up to speed with what you've learned about the oak. You assume they won't remember much of this anyway. Well, I'm sure how much of the paw... Of a paw the barkeeper has and all this. They aren't... They are wont to believe you. They are wont to believe you regarding the rest of the tale. As you mentioned, the bargaining piece, the, the barfly's eyes light up. They rush the other side of the bar, open the jar, remove the false bottom, and set the object on the counter. Lord of the hundreds. A pugent odor fills your nostrils, a scent you've never before experienced. You feel your senses heighten. The barfy. The barfly? I don't know why I keep saying barfy. Barfly seems to sober up almost instantly. One of the few pieces of edible cheese left in this world. Anything else gets pounded into cheddar immediately by the cats. Barkeeper is the only one I know who still has a piece of contraband like this. They showed me it once when they were a little drunk. Guess it's some kind of family keepsake or something. Pawed it through the generations of mice. Never really thought much of it until now. I guess your story does check out. Felines wouldn't let something like this slip by them for so long without good reason. You ever wonder what cheese tasted like before we turned into crumbs? Before we used it to trade material goods and labor when it was just a simple pleasure we enjoyed with one another? Before subjugation, they trail off into silence, drifting into their thoughts. A strange impulse fills you, snout to tail. Their words echo in your mind. Why was it taken from your you and your kind? Surely there'd be no harm in just... Oh, really? Yeah, I guess you're already pissing them off, so... Might as well taste what the ancestors used to relish. Hope it aged well. Here. Lord of the Hundreds. Yum. As soon as it hits your tongue, you feel the room begin to shift. Oh. A strange sensation overtakes your form. Your corporeal body detaches from your spirit. A higher existence comes into focus here within this moment. Your thought drifts and drift to currency. What use is it? This is a stream of emotions. You feel peace. Your rent no longer looms overhead, demanding your sub subservience to a greater system that wishes not for your best interests nor to care for you. The taste still lingers in your mouth, simply sublime. Eons of cheese eating weight wash over you, the natural state of things in your heritage. Why have we let them take it? I'm butchering this breathing in a serious moment. What is blockering Whoa. What is blocking you out of the past? It certainly isn't a law of nature. There's more of us than them. We outnumber them a million to one. Why is it we have yet to converge, to take on the upper hand? Why have we been so scared? They shouldn't take from us any longer. They can't. Not today. Not anymore. They won't. Did you feel that? It's like something woke within me and I don't think it's going back to sleep. You should, uh, take this and get out of here. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. I think I need to go lay down. That was a lot. Good luck up there. I think you might be the only one who can change all of this. Mouse kind deserves to be free. Yep, that was just a look into, like, freaking society right there. Where am I going with this? Yeah, I don't think I need to ever go back and pay my rent. We're gonna go straight to these people. Oh! You, you fucking Mickey. I know what you stole from the bar. Who do you think you are? You've co you're coming with me. You pissed off the wrong cat. Uh oh. That's the end of it? 
Bro. That was, like, actually good. Aw, oh, I'm actually mad that that's the end of the demo. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the game. This was Until Big Light. And, uh, see you all next time. Bye, guys.